Hi, and welcome to Twinkle. Today, we're going to be talking about baptisms. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. What is baptism? Baptism is a Christian sacrament, welcoming people into the family of God. A sacrament is an important and significant rite where God's grace flows over the individual. Water is either sprinkled or poured over the infant. Some denominations immerse the whole child in water, the same as they do with an older believer. Was Jesus baptized? Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan. This is recorded in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It is when the Holy Spirit comes upon Jesus and happens right at the start of his ministry. Are baptism and christening the same? Let's look at the dictionary definitions. Baptism is a Christian sacrament marked by the ritual use of water and admitting the recipient in the Christian community. Christening is the ceremony of baptizing and naming a child, so they're effectively the same. When do baptisms happen? Baptisms happen as a part of a church service, usually on a Sunday. In a lot of churches, this will be in the main Sunday morning service. Because some churches have a lot of baptisms, they hold them in a separate service. Otherwise, they'd be having baptisms every week. Who attends a baptism? The baptism is led by the priest, minister, or pastor. To save time, we'll refer to them as the priest throughout. The most important person is the baptismal candidate because without them, there wouldn't be a baptism. When that's an infant, they're brought to the church by their parents. Next are the godparents. A godparent is also called a sponsor. Along with the parents, they are responsible for the upbringing of the child and their personal and spiritual development. Godparents are usually close friends of the child's parents. Depending on which denomination the child is being baptized in, there can be one or many godparents. Roman Catholics have one or at the most two godparents, who must be confirmed members of that denomination. Other churches have three or four. Traditionally, a boy would have two godfathers and a godmother, and a girl would have two godmothers and a godfather. If there are four godparents, there are usually two godfathers and two godmothers. In some countries, many people stand as sponsors of the child. Finally, the church congregation or their representatives are present. This is because the candidate is being welcomed into God's family, and these people are their fellow members. What happens at a baptism? The priest, parents, and godparents gather around the font. The word font comes from the word fountain and is the receptacle for the holy water. They come in a massive range of sizes. The font was traditionally placed by the church door to remind worshippers of their own baptism as they entered the church. The priest asks the parents and godparents if they believe in God and will bring the child up in the Christian faith. Once they have stated that they will, the priest makes the sign of the cross on the infant's forehead. They will do this using either holy oil or water from the font. This is to signify membership in the church. The priest will then hold the child over the font and pour water over their head three times, stating, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is called a Trinitarian baptism and is the recognized form of baptism in all mainstream churches. The parents then receive a lighted candle signifying Christ's light in the world. What are some variations? Most mainstream denominations accept one Trinitarian baptism for life, regardless of in which church it was done. Baptists insist on a believer's baptism, which is only for those who are old enough to understand the promises that they make and who have made a commitment to follow Jesus. 
If a baptized person wishes to join the Orthodox Church, they can take part in chrismation, which is like being confirmed with the addition of being anointed with oil. So now you know more about baptism. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. That's all for now. Catch you next time!